Resolving new PIP backtracking runtime issue. The new PIP dependency resolver that was released with version 20.3 takes an inappropriately long time to install a package. On our C pipeline yesterday, a Docker build that used to take 10 minutes timed out after one hour of PIP installation messages like this, almost for every library that is installed by any dependency there is a similar log output. I am quite confused whether we are using the new PIP resolver correctly, especially since the behavior seen is described as backtracking in the release notes. I understand why it is there. It specifies that I can use a constraint file, looks like a requirements.txt, that fixes the version of the dependencies to reduce the runtime using. Pip install C constraints dot text setup dot pi. What is the best way to produce this constraints file? Currently, the best way I can think of is running pip install setup dot pi locally in a new virtual environment, then using pip freeze is greater than constraints dot text. However, this still takes a lot of time for the local install, it's been stuck for about 10 minutes now. The notes do mention that this means the work is done once during development process, and so will save users this work during deployment. With the old dependency resolver, I was able to install this package in less than a minute locally. What is the recommended process here? Edit. I just found out that some of the dependencies are pointing directly to out internal GitLab server. If I instead install directly from our internal package registry, it works in a couple of minutes again. Latest update, 2022.02. There seems to be major update in pip just few days old, version 22.0, release notes plus relevant issue on GitHub. I haven't tested it in more detail but it really seems to me that they optimized installation order calculation in complex case in such way that it resolves many issues we all encountered earlier. But I will need more time to check it. Anyway, the rest of this answer is still valid and smart requirements pinning suitable for particular project is a good practice emo. Since I encountered similar issue I agree this is quite annoying. Backtracking might be useful feature but you don't want to wait hours to complete with uncertain success. I found several options that might help. Use the old resolver, use deprecated equals legacy resolver, proposed in the answer by at Daniel Davy, but this is more like temporary solution than a proper one. Skip resolving dependencies with no depths option. I would not recommend this generally but in some cases you can have a working set of packages versions although there are some conflicts. Reduce the number of versions pip will try to backtrack and be more strict on package dependencies. 
This means instead of putting for example numpy in my requirements.txt, I could try, numpy is greater than or equal to 1.18.0, or be even more strict with, numpy equals equals 1.18.0. The strictness might help a lot. Check the following sources. Fixing conflicts, GitHub pip discussion, reducing backtracking. I still do not have a proper answer that would always help but the best practice for requirements.txt seems to pin package versions. I found pip tools that could help you manage this even with constraints.txt, but I am in an experimental phase so I cannot tell you more. Update, 2021-04. It seems author of the question was able to fix the issue, something with custom GitLab server, but I would like to extend this answer since it might be useful for others. After reading and trying I ended up with pinning all my package versions to a specific one. This really should be the correct way. Although everything can still work without it, there might be cases where if you don't pin your dependencies, your package manager will silently install a new version, when it's released, with possible bugs or incompatibility, this happens to me with Dask last this year. There are several tools which might help you, I would recommend one of these approaches. Easiest one with Piprix. Piprix is a library which generates pip requirements.txt file based on imports of any project. You can start by pip install Piprix and running just Piprix in your project root, or eventually with force flag if your requirements already exists. It will easily create requirements.txt with pinned versions based on imports in your project and versions taken from your environment. Then you can at any time create new environment based on this requirements.txt. This is really simple tool, you even do not need to write your requirements.txt. It does not allow you to create something complex, might not be a good choice for bigger projects. Last week I found one strange behavior, see this, but generally I'm happy with this tool as it usually works perfectly. Using pip tools. There are several other tools commonly used like pip tools, Python or poetry. You can read more in faster Docker builds with Python, Poetry, or Pip Tools or Python Application Dependency Management in 2018, older but seems still valid to me. And it still seems to me that the best option, although it depends on your project slash use case, is Pip Tools. You can, this is one option, see more in Docs. Create requirements.in, the same format as, requirements.txt, it's up to you whether you pin some package dependency or not, then you can use it by, pip install pip tools, and running, pip compile requirements.in, this will generate new, requirements.txt, file where all versions are pinned, it's clear, what is the origin, optionally, you can run it with generate hashes option, then you can, as with piprix, at any time create new environment based on this, requirements.txt, pip tools offer you upgrade option to upgrade the final reeks. Supports layered requirements, for example having dev and prod versions, there is integration with pre-commit, offers pip sync tool to update your environment based on requirements.txt. There are few more stuff you can do with it and I really love the integration with pre-commit. This allows you to use the same requirements as before, just with dot in suffix, and add pre-commit hook that automatically updates requirements.txt, so you will never experience having different local environment from the generated requirements.txt which might easily happen when you run something manually. So they are changing the resolver, this seems to be a bug. What worked for was using the old resolver, by using the flag. 
This will work until pip 21.0 apparently. Source, this URL. Had similar issue and wanted to report the solution which worked for me. I had to update the pip version using. Actually I was building a docker image so I've added the line. Right before installing the requirements. In the time of writing this answer the installed pip version is 22.0.3. Doing so fixed the problem. I have the same problem and the provided solutions didn't work for me, even though I have pinned all the dependencies. So I looked at the first package that caused pip to backtrack in the console output, the package before the first warning, info, pip is looking at multiple versions of underscore to determine which version is compatible with other requirements. This could take a while, and remove it from requirements.txt. This fixed the problem for me.